Hey guys, in today's video we've got an awesome drift car, new chargers and the mystery box. Stay tuned! So guys, in today's video we're going to have a look at some new products which we are going to review on the channel. And the first thing is this one. So this is a new drift car made by LDRC and LDRC makes awesome cars. So the last one I reviewed from them was the Unimog and that thing was just great. It had a two speed gearbox, differential locks, lighting system and a lot more. That thing was awesome and now they have produced a drift car. So I'm very curious about this little car. Then we've got a mystery box and inside this mystery box we will find a Besher car. But that Besher car is around that big but this thing is just awesome and I bought some new chargers because I for a couple of years now I'm using the same chargers and sometimes you need some changes so let me put some stuff aside and let's have a close look at this one first so guys this is an all new car made by LDRC and LDRC makes awesome cars well in my opinion and this is a drift car and this is the first drift car that I own so normally I do only like crawler cars and basic cars and this is just a complete new thing for me so yeah I'm very curious about it so yeah let me get this open because we've got some uh, cardboard right over here and you have got a very nice looking pouch just look at this guys this looks already very promising so let's open this pouch up and see what's inside there. So inside here we will find some instructions. We will find a transmitter. Let me unpack this one. So here we've got the transmitter with a couple of buttons. And I think this one has also got a gyro inside there. But yeah, I, I'm not sure yet. And we've got some accessories, a charger, some tools inside this little bag. And of course we've got a drift car. Just look at this guys. So this is my first drift car and yeah, I don't know anything about this. But this thing really looks awesome. But already I can, can see some LEDs inside there, which is always a good thing. Just look at the rear guys. So this is definitely a Nissan Skyline and this thing really looks awesome. So the body is made of metal so or die cast and this thing feels very, very sturdy so far. And drift car should have a very big steering angle. Wow, just look at this guys. This steering angle is just amazing. So we've got some little suspension things going on there. And I can see a tiny surface sitting inside there. We've got an off seat, a battery tray. And here you will find a motor. And well, this thing really looks awesome. So in a future video, we're going to review this because I am very curious about the drift car. And this is the first one that I own. So let's have a close look at the other stuff. Another thing that I bought are new chargers. Why? Well, I've been using the same chargers for ages now. And I've been using this one, I've been using that one, and I've been using that one. And I know these chargers aren't very good, and these are more like a knockoff charger. And yeah, to be honest, I don't understand myself why I still use those. I think, you know, that I pay more attention to the cars instead of the accessories like these chargers. But now I've bought some different ones. So let me put those aside. So this is the Sky RC, and this is the B6 Neo and this is a very funny charger but let me unpack this one and show you what's in this little box and here is the charger guys just look at it this thing is very very small and I really like all the colors so this reminds me on a Game Boy or something like that and yeah I really like the design of this little charger so on this side you will have the, the in port so this is the XT60 connector and can use 10 to 28 volts we've got the USB-C connector and on the other side we've got the balance port and we've got the output to charge the batteries so right over here we've got a display we've got a couple of buttons and underneath here you will find a very big cooling fan and the build quality feels very sturdy so yeah let me put this in power supply and show you when it's on the charger is powered on and it just plugged in a USB-C cable so here you can see the power rating we've got the full jit and the current that comes from the cable so when pressing enter once then you will have the home screen press it again then you will go into the settings menu and you can change a lot of different things inside there so of course the battery type the amount of cells that you want to uh, charge then we have got the task if you want to have normal charge discharge uh, storage of air or if you want to charge the balance so to which is the end fault and the charge current and and yeah the start button so this thing really looks amazing and the build quality feels very sturdy but we are going to do like an in-depth review video in the future video so now let's have a close look at the mystery box and here is our mystery box guys so what's inside there well let's open it up so inside this little box you will find some instructions and we've got a charger and some spare gears inside there and that's always a good thing 
and here we've got the remote. So this one is made by WI Toys and these remotes are on the market for quite a while now and these are okay. So it's capable of running steering, we've got a foam wheel inside there and it runs on 4 AA's which you need to supply of your own. So this one will, will come with two batteries and this is a 2S LiPo battery with 400 milliamps and this is all okay-ish. But here is the car guys, just look at this car, this looks amazing right? So this car has got 4 wheel drive independent suspension, so let me show you that. So independent suspension in the front and in the rear, we've got aluminium chassis sitting right over there, fully working light system, fully proportional steering and throttle of course, this thing really looks promising. So let me open the body, so we've got one little body clip right over there and then the body can swivel upwards and look underneath here guys, just look at this, this really looks amazing. So this is your 2 in 1 receiver EC combination, this is your heatsink for the motor, the steering servo sits right over there and here is your battery tray. But just look at this guys, so I paid I think it was uh, 40 or 50 bucks for this tiny car and this looks really really interesting. So all of the product will be reviewed on the channel and yeah for this video guys that was it, thank you for watching, please subscribe to my channel, if you got any questions or suggestions leave a comment below and I will see in the next video. Bye bye!